Uh, I got a new Harley in 2008, and then uh, my first trip around the Cabot Trail just absolutely blew my mind. And I was like, why is there not a shirt that said I did this? So the, after that first time I went around the Cabot Trail and I just thought I had to tell the world about it. So I made a website. What was this place all about? If you were solo, if you had a group, what to look for, where to stay, where to go, things you shouldn't miss, and answered any questions people had. And that's how I met literally hundreds of bikers the last 10 years. Harley Davidson in Canada had this celebration. It was 100 years since the first Harley sold in Canada. They got a film crew all together and they were making this documentary. And I kept on getting these questions from, from this, this producer. This happens a lot. I meet a lot of people that are magazine writers and stuff because they, they want to know the best. I kind of worked with them a little bit on, on, on how to design their trip. And I, didn't, I honestly did not know that they were, at the time, casting me. In the end, they said, hey, uh, will you be our guy? I'm like, take someone around the cabin trail on Harley's? Absolutely. <laughs> The Cabot Trail Motorcycle Tour that I nicknamed the Lobster Tour. It got its start because when I did the, that documentary for Harley, I went around with his aunt for a week and they shot us and that's what you see in the film and all that stuff. But it's not really true because I actually went around the trail with nine people. It was just seven of them were crew in a van. They were at the Cayleys with us. They ate the food, which is amazing. They stayed at all the accommodations, which I recommended, of course, and they were great. And they got to let know the people, the Mi'kmaq, everything. We went out on, our, on a fishing boat. We didn't just catch lobster. We actually caught the lobster that we cooked that night. It was amazing. Wasn't it, Piper? <laughs> uh, anyways, it was so much fun. So after it was over, it was like, wait, is that, is it, that's it? I got to do this again. So then I just put it out there. I'm like, does anyone want to come on this lobster tour? And I couldn't believe it. I got, there was 11 bikes. Oh, it was amazing. So that's what I do every year now. When you book your tour online, you're going to get that welcome kit. That's the first thing you're going to get. And I'm going to get it to you underneath your tree, just in case it was a gift. Then we're going to get really close to the time you're going to leave. And as soon as you come into Canada or get into New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, then I'm gonna help guide you here to the first inn and uh, make sure we get your bikes in. Uh, don't worry if they're dirty because we clean all the motorcycles. We get them covered if it's raining. We're not staying in tents. We're not staying in shared accommodations. This is your vacation. Three nights out of the five are in the two finest resorts that Cape Breton even has. It's amazing. You don't need any money when you're on this trip. Fuel, food, accommodations, uh, excursions, uh, tours, they're all included. And not only is all that stuff included, but I'll be drawing in other Nova Scotians and you're gonna be immersed in what we are. You're not a tourist, you're one of us.